Ooh. Okay. Hey guys, it's Naya and I'm back in a car. I'm about to go get some Wendy's because I'm like starving. I just came out of Starbucks. I was in Starbucks for like a good three hours just doing like a whole bunch of work. I would do like a drive with me type go, but like I don't have nothing to secure this camera down and I don't want it flying. Like I'm feeling unmotivated today. So like I kind of just want to like talk about it. So yeah, I'm about to go and I'll see y'all. Stage of my life. I'm in my little brother's school parking lot because I have to pick him up. He doesn't get out school for another hour so i'm just gonna sit here these parents probably gonna be watching me if you guys are wondering i got um a four for four junior bacon barbecue sauce and i got ice for a drink i'm just gonna i could have got ice water from starbucks while i was there but i was just too busy first of all motivation if you don't know what motivation is google it i feel like that's something i shouldn't have to tell you guys what it is i feel like Everybody has those days where they feel like super motivated, right? But like obviously we all have days when we don't even you can have like a spur of motivation Having a spur of motivation can only last so long, you know, and I hate to sound that way Regardless of how relevant you are how many followers you have how many subscribers you have You're always gonna feel like you could do better. It kind of sucks when I have days like this when I'm feeling like really like low about it. especially like small youtubers I feel like there's so much work for their YouTube videos and like work for everything because smaller creators micro creators micro influencers put in so much more work for everything they do have the youtubers you watch don't even edit their own videos it just doesn't make any sense so hungry I feel like if you have somebody else editing your videos it takes away from like the personal feeling of a YouTube channel you know people often use motivation with like money if that makes sense a lot of people only are motivated to make money to see myself be successful and to have an audience and to like you know just really have like a platform that's really my ultimate goal and that's what motivates me every day being able to talk to that many people every day and just interact if you know me you know I love meeting new people like I love meeting new people especially for some reason people who don't live in my state does that mean I need to move? I literally tweeted the other day, people miles away from me support me more than the people that live in the same state as me. And that literally blows me. Like, and I wasn't even talking about, you know, people I'm close to. I'm talking about the people that I went to school with, the people who have their own little things going on, like the little fake SoundCloud, not fake. <laughs> act famous. Like, you ain't act famous if you're not famous. That junk pisses me off. Hi, editing guys. So what I mean by this is like people who are on the same level as you who act like they just can't, you know, repost something or screenshot something, you know, or something like that. Like, or like you'll see them doing it to other people, but they won't do it for whatever you're doing, you know, because I've seen that a lot. Even through high school, I'll like post, like I'll build up the courage to post something and then like with the caption, like repost and nobody would screenshot it. Nobody would repost it. But then... You got like these SoundCloud rappers, and if you're watching this and you went to my school, you know what I'm talking about. I don't care. <laughs> um, then you have like these SoundCloud rappers, and they'll like screenshot and repost them all day. And that's the unmotivating part. Like, not that it means anything to me anymore because I could care less who like wants to support me or not because I have my subscribers and I have like the people that actually support me like, for real, for real. Back then, I didn't have a support system for real, except for my family. And you know, your family, as long as you have like a good, loving family, help all y'all do, they're always gonna support you. So like, it's kind of like you don't want to hear it from your family. You know, at this point, it's just if you want to support, you support. If you don't, you don't. We could all be supporting each other, but they just don't want to support. Let me finish my food real quick. There's not a specific way to stop feeling unmotivated. You know, like you just, you're just gonna feel it. I get motivated by watching YouTubers, like watching YouTubers and seeing like the platform they have, or like talking to people with bigger platforms. Your business, your YouTube channel, your Instagram, whatever you're trying to get grow, it's going to grow. You're gonna hit all your goals that you wanna hit because that's also a thing to set goals for yourself. If you don't set goals, you're never gonna hit them. So like, I feel like everybody should have set goals for whatever. Like if you wanna go, if you are trying to hit 10K on Instagram, set a goal for it. And setting goal dates is the most important. Like you could have, oh, I wanna hit 1K written down somewhere all day, but if you don't have a day that you wanna hit 1K, it's never gonna happen. I know that probably sounds a little bit contradicting seeing the fact that I had 
a day. I wanted to hit 1K on my birthday, September 27th, but like I didn't hit it. And not hitting it too, it kind of like made me want to work harder. Like, damn, I didn't hit it this day, so like let me try it harder and hit it a different day. You know, now my new goal is by the end of November, um, which I think is possible. I'm recording this video. I have like 9:22, and I just hit 900 yesterday. Yeah, that's it, man. If this video ever services the internet. That's all. I have to say follow my social medias at Naya and Day on all platforms. All right, I will see y'all next time I upload. Peace out. Mm -hmm.